I'm sure by now you've heard of the term whole health approach, but what exactly does that mean? And how does one treat the whole being, both body and mind, compatibly? Well, to answer those questions and a few more, I'm visiting with the preventative care professionals right here at Primary Care Institute. Here's Dr. Odocha to explain. The main reason we started a practice is really to delve more into prevention and um, try to tackle the main reason most people get sick. We deal with a lot of patients who come in to see us with chronic illnesses, and we started asking ourselves, listen, is there a way that we can try to get to the bottom of why people are getting sick in the first place and try to reduce the impact of those conditions? At Primary Care Institute, we're able to treat all ages. Our youngest patient is four years old, and our oldest is 102 years old. We offer the full spectrum and comprehensive primary care, which includes chronic care, acute care, sports medicine, diabetes education, women's health, and also wellness. We're in a transformative primary care clinic. Each patient is individually cared for. We look at your genetics, your social history, your medical history, and we make a care plan. So Dr. John, when we talk about a whole health approach, obviously we're considering both body and mind. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, why are these two components so vital when we think about healthy living? Oftentimes when we have physical ailments, they can affect our mental health. So when people have challenges with their thyroid or difficulties managing their blood sugar, it can make them feel more anxious or depressed. And the opposite is also true. When we're feeling more depressed, for example, we might not want to take as good a care of our health. So what types of services then are you able to offer? So I get referrals for more traditional behavioral health things like depression and anxiety, but I also have patients who come see me that want to quit smoking or that want to you know, manage their weight better, as well as chronic pain. We also offer some group therapy here. And finally, we offer some assessment services. Well, sometimes we have older adults in the practice who are getting a little bit worried about their thinking and memory. We can do some assessments to get a sense of sort of where their thinking and memory is. We also sometimes have patients who maybe are feeling like they really have a lot of trouble focusing and are worried about ADHD. We can do evaluations for young adults as well. Looking around your office, it's really comfortable. I don't see a couch here. Is that intentional? So I don't ever want people to feel like they should be coming in once a week, laying on a couch, talking to me about all their problems. Therapy should be very goal-oriented. Mm -hmm. So people come to me with things that are maybe challenges for them right now and we focus on addressing those in a time limited way and then have them go back out and live their lives without having to come see me all the time. So now that you've joined the Primary Care Institute team, do you see this compatibility working back and forth and see the results that are being driven from this approach? Absolutely. So we see some of our patients who have really struggled to manage some of their health concerns doing a little bit better in that way. And I work with all of the medical providers here closely so that that way we consult about patients, you know, making sure that I'm getting appropriate referrals and that I know exactly how best to help patients. And then I provide information back to their medical providers as well so that that way they can support patients in their mental health and kind of whole integrated health as well. The future of healthcare, as far as I see it, is that we do want to concentrate on preventing diseases. Lots of resources are being spent on taking care of chronic disease. So our goal is if we can get the patient in here early on before the disease uh, escalates and gets worse, we'll definitely make the patient better. We've moved from our old location to this brand new location, and the reason that we've moved here really is to offer more services that relate to lifestyle medicine. We have a gym and we also have a wellness clinic to allow patients to live a healthier lifestyle. Uh, that allows them to prevent the chronic diseases that really causes a major impact on, on one's life. At Primary Care Institute, our motto is that your health is our health. And what that really means is that as the community is healthy, so are we. And if we live in a healthy community, you know, all of us benefit from that. For a whole health preventative approach to healthcare, be sure and visit Primary Care Institute. Your body and mind will thank you.